Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching every single time. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Right, spirit messages for Scorpio, please, regarding love. Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards Scorpio spirit? Okay, so we have tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. This could be you or your person. What else? Who or what is coming towards? Scorpio. Judgment call. So someone I feel is going to make a decision here about a situation that has kept them a bit stuck. Bottom of the deck, I have parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. So there could have been a separation in the past or some sort of disconnect that's going on right now. And someone, I feel, wants to do something about this. So let's see. Let me grab one Kipper deck card here. So can I get a clarifier for Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards them? Oh, okay. We have main female. Okay. Can I get one more? We have a feminine energy here. It does not have to be a female. We all have masculine and feminine energies. False person. Okay, so, hmm. I'm really hoping this isn't a third party situation because I don't feel this is your energy. So we will see. We will see. Let's get the tarot. If you're interested in any of the decks that I use, if you want to know about personal readings, all of that information is in the description box. For Scorpio Spirit. Who or what? Ow. <laughs> Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? I know some of you are probably wondering, like, why is she filming when her arm doesn't work? And it's because I work a full-time job. In addition to YouTube, YouTube is kind of like a part-time job. So I really work like 60 to 70 hours a week um, doing everything. <laughs> um, but I really love tarot and I don't want to get behind on my recordings because I don't really have time to make up recordings, if that makes sense. Okay, we have six of wands, six of cups. Or what is coming towards Scorpio in love? Two of Pentacles. Again, with the judgment call, I feel like this Two of Pentacles is regarding that choice, that decision that someone needs to make. Six of Wands, victory, success, recognition. What's this about? Spare, what is the Six of Wands about? What is the Six of Wands about? This one. Three of Wands. Okay, so someone if you has been waiting for... Okay, I heard confirmation. I don't know if this is you wanting to hear from a particular person or needing confirmation from an official capacity, like an official authority figure or building or just a message back. Can I get one more? For the Six of Wands, please. Seven of Swords came out. Interesting. See, there's somebody around you, around this connection, because this could be your person that's dealing with the false person. Take it as it resonates, you know. Please take what resonates and applies to you. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords? Okay, so this is in a form of a message of some sort or taking action in some way. 
So I don't think that this false person is trying to take advantage or being deceptive in a in a negative way is what I'm picking up so far. I feel like this is someone that needs to be strategic because there's a situation that they are stuck in. So I feel like this is someone who is hiding their true motives or hiding something probably from this main female. I feel like they're biding their time, waiting for some sort of green light here. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? Can I get one more for Scorpio, please? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. So this is someone that's waiting, being patient, and wondering if they're going to be successful. I feel like they want to. I think this person won't act unless they have a green light or like confirmation or like a yes you know i think that's what's gonna happen what's happening here what's the six of cups about why is the six of cups here ace of swords okay can i get one more i honestly don't know what to think of this six of cups um I really wanted to clarify it. Five of Wands. Can I get one more for the Six of Cups? Okay, Ten of Wands. So I feel like the there's some whatever this tied up card is, it has to do with the past. There's a past baggage is what I'm getting here. There could be multiple people involved too. They have the five of wands. And in this particular deck, I think of like a group of people. We'll see if that comes up in the reading in another way. Um, Cause I don't want to jump to third party, but I I just don't think this is you. So that's why a lot of you, it's, it's someone else. Um, now with the ace of swords, 10 of wands, I feel like this is someone who, is ready to cut something out. Let's see. Can I get one more? For this Ace of Swords with this Ten of Wands. Why is the Ace of Swords? See, we have the Devil and then the Ace of Cups. So, I feel like the Devil is... and the, Remember, this is for the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So, I feel like this is the attachment you know there's something holding someone back or keeping someone restricted um it could have been it could be a capricorn because i you know this is the sign of capricorn but i'm picking up that this could be in the form of like something that happened in the past the past decision perhaps um there's conflict now and with the five of wands in some way um drama conflict and this is this is something that recently scorpio I believe you have a reading that I use the word drama in the title. So if this is resonating, check out that reading because I feel like this is connected. And I have the Ace of Cups. And so I feel like this is someone that is making this decision um, because they are thinking of themselves. I think this is a self-love thing. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Pentacles and then the Three of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so another way that I'm taking this, okay, so I feel like some of you are definitely dealing with a third party. They have the Three of Pentacles here, um, and then the Four of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Pentacles. So I don't know if there's another commitment involved here. If there is, let me know in the comments um, if that's resonating for you, if you feel comfortable sharing. But with the Four of Pentacles, I really feel like this is like protection, right? Like someone that's protecting themselves um, or this is someone that's holding on to something emotionally. Like this could be an emotional attachment. Let's see, what's with this Two of Pentacles? Spirit, why is the Two of Pentacles here? For Scorpio, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles, wow. 
Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Tell me what this is about, Spirit. I think this is a choice between two people or two very different things. If it's not a third party situation, it's two very different things. I feel like um, this is someone who's thinking with the hangman, but is, is not able to do something about it right now. So this is, I feel, someone that's thinking about it, but hasn't acted on it. And I think this is your person. We have air and earth here. I'm thinking this is a situation where there is something else someone else that someone is still tied to and it's affecting your connection with them if that's not resonating then you are you and this person are in a commitment but there's someone else and so this person's weighing be between what they are responsible for and what they desire if that makes sense because i feel like that's making sense down here so let's get some insight into this person who is this person? What do we need to know about this other person that you are dealing with, Scorpio? Spirit, tell me more. What can you tell me about this person? Oh my gosh, that is way too many. Sorry guys, I my arm's not working. <laughs> what can you tell me about this person that Scorpio is dealing with? What can you tell me about this other person that Scorpio is connecting with or dealing with? Okay, we have curious, interested, and inquisitive. We have water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So these cards that are like either a water sign, earth sign, fire sign, um, or if they are like an actual zodiac sign, you can read them literally as the as the sign cancer pisces scorpio in this instance or as the qualities of an earth uh, water sign so i feel like this is you, you could be dealing with a water sign of course and you know, this could be you as well that someone is um curious about you know like they're curious about you interested in you here but i'm also picking up that this is someone that i don't want to say it's two-sided or double-sided but i feel like these are two very different energies like this is more emotion and intuition and um uh instinct right and then this is more logic intellect can i get one more for this person what else can you tell us about this person's spirit this one intense profound and earnest yeah i feel like this is someone that is um whoever this is that you're dealing with they're not easy to describe or like a simple person i feel like they're very complex there's a lot of depth to this person emotionally i feel but i think there's also like an like an earnestness which goes with this curious energy like they want to know more they they're interested they're 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 um curious they are uh their interest is piqued when it comes to you and i feel like for some reason it's getting them in trouble in a, in a way um i don't know why i'm picking that up but it's almost like this person's interest in you scorpio is just causing issues but let's look at where all of this is headed in the near future. Spirit, tell me where all of this is headed for Scorpio and this other person in the near future. Where is this headed for Scorpio and this other person? What's next for this connection? What's next? Page of Swords. That's that energy, curious energy. I feel like this person could be um, watching you on social media, texting you, or just wanting to know more about you, what you're doing, keeping tabs. What else? What else? 
What's next for this connection? Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's the choice. This person is still debating what they're going to do, what choice they're going to make. Not every choice is the best one. Let me get one more. What's next? It could be that this person wants to know more about you, where you stand, before they make this choice as well. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I'm going to have to clarify this because I feel like this is one of the choices from the previous spread. It was the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So we'll clarify. But first, let's start with this Page of Swords. Why is this Page of Swords here? Why is this page of swords here? <laughs> the moon. Yeah. Pisces energy. I feel like there's something this person doesn't know. Or something that you don't know about this person. And you, you'll only find out if you communicate or investigate. There's something hidden here with the moon. There's confusion or doubt. Can I get one more with the page of swords? Yeah. Ace of swords. So there needs to be clarity, clarity about you, this connection, what they, they need to, I feel like they need, they need to feel good about their decision. Can I get one more for the page of swords? Here's the page of swords here. King of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this is your person. I feel like this is someone who wants to do things the right way. Um, the King of Pentacles is someone who takes their time, but they like things organized. They like to have things in a, a done a certain way. You know, it's it's not good enough for them to half-ass anything. And bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Cups. So. Some of you are dealing with a person who is already married or in a long-term commitment. And that's why this decision is so hard. And others of you, this person is thinking of your connection and I feel like you, you rocked them a bit. Because now they're confused where perhaps they weren't before. A page of wands fell out. So they could be wanting to reach out here, communicate in some way. Because I feel like the only way they can find out what they're curious about is to actually talk to you. Can I get one more for this? Um, or can I get some clarity on this Seven of Cups, please? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. This is bringing two very different things together in harmony. Um, oh, see? There's the Three of Cups. This is a choice between two people. And they have to decide. They have to choose one. And I feel like they've taken their time doing this. Or they're, they're not able to do this quickly. Whatever choice this is. It's not able to happen quickly. Can I get one more for the Seven of Cups? Please, for Scorpio. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This person could have a family... Or perhaps they're thinking about happiness, you know, having a happy ending. Um, I feel like they can only have this with one choice. What's with this Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Why is the three of, I mean, not the three. Why is the queen of swords here, spirit? Why is the queen of swords here? Yep. Page of cups. I feel like the, there's feelings for one of these or perhaps both. Can I get one more? For this Queen of Swords, but I feel like this choice is a it should be a logical one. Um, for some reason, I I don't think this choice should be made strictly on emotion. <laughs> Another card about happiness. 
But I feel like this, this could be clarity. Yeah, I have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck with Justice. Yeah, this is someone that's thinking logically. I have Libra with Justice card there. There's a lot of thought behind the choice that they're making. If you're waiting for your person to make a decision about who they want to be with or what, what future they want, um, the reason that it's taking them so long is because they are overthinking probably at this point. Um, and this is, yeah, this is regarding a path, two of wands. So two very different directions this person could be going in. Um, but I feel like they're at least trying to make the right choice for them. I don't think it's fair to have you waiting, but I think, you know, if this is a judgment call, it should be a final type of decision. You know, I feel it's a decision they probably can't go back from, right? Um, I feel like they need answers here, like, um... Like they're researching something, looking something up, or um, needing to talk to someone. This could be you. Before making this decision. This could be you as well, Scorpio, making this decision. Um, take it as it resonates. But I feel like this is... Um, there is a third party, I feel. There's something else here. It doesn't have to be a person, but I do feel for a lot of you, it's a person that um, is influencing this hesitation. Um, it's like they're deciding about this third party. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for your patience today. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, please consider liking, subscribing, leaving me a comment just to say hi um, or sharing if it, if it resonated for you. Um, I love getting your comments. Um, it makes me feel like I'm not talking to myself. So thank you to everybody that does that. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.